Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. I can't wait to share my Letter Sewing project with you. This is an apron. I have the free pattern on my blog. You can get the link in my description. This is a really classic style apron. It has a bib and um, it's kind of a trapezoid shape so it kind of wraps around giving you a little more coverage right here on the sides. Um, it has a gathered skirt on the bottom. It has two pockets so you can always hold things as you need to. It has a strap around the top that goes around your neck and then it has two waist ties to keep the apron in place. I am a really messy cook so I love having an apron to cover myself and to like wipe my hands on. I'm always using my aprons and washing them. This pattern uses about a one and a quarter yard of quilting cotton. Um, you need a little bit of interfacing but it's mostly just that quilting cotton you use. Um, you do, you can optionally have different fabric for the facing of the bib if you want or you can do the same fabric. This is a great beginner sewing project. Um, there are lots of steps but all of the steps are easy so it is great to um, practice your sewing or teach someone how to sew and an apron is really great for gifts and Mother's Day is coming up soon so you could make some aprons for some of your friends or family members. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to need quilting cotton, some lightweight fusible interfacing, and then all of the pattern pieces taped together. Now for the sake of time, I'm not going to tell you specifically um, how I'm cutting out each piece. Just know that there's instructions on each piece. For the apron, you are going to need two of the bib pieces. I'm having my um, facing be a different color so that you can see what I'm doing as I'm working with it. You'll also need um, interfacing for the bib. Then you'll have two pockets, two waist straps, one neck strap, and then one skirt and make sure that you have transferred the pocket markings onto the skirt. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to fuse the um, interfacing to one of the bib pieces. Now you're going to take your four strap pieces and you are going to use an iron to press it in half with the long edges matching. Then you take those long edges and um, put it into that middle fold that you just created and you are going to take both long edges and press those inside and then you're going to fold all the folds and press it just like this so you have a nice strong strap and you're going to do that to all three of your strap pieces. Once the straps have all been pressed and folded up you are going to sew down each side, each long side with a 1 8 inch seam allowance and you're going to backstitch when you start and when you stop. On the two long ones, you are going to take two short ends and just fold them in a quarter of an inch before you um, fold and sew. So that when you go along and sew this edge, this is going to be a folded edge instead of a raw edge. And those two ends will be the end of the waist ties. To prepare the bib and the straps, you are going to take your straps and we're going to base them in place. So you want your top strap to come up here to the top. You want to make sure you have a half inch seam allowance right here on the edge. And then make sure that your top strap is not um, twisted because you want it to fit comfortably over your neck. So pin that in place. We're going to do the same to the waist ties and remember you're going to have the seam allowance 
down here. This is half an inch seam allowance and this is half an inch seam allowance. So I'm coming up about one inch up here and pinning that in place. For the skirt, um, you see you have these two long ends. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to hem both of these short ends. You are going to fold it under a quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch and you're going to press that hem in place so that we can then sew it. Now along the bottom of the skirt down here, you are going to fold it up half an inch and press and then fold it up another half an inch and press and then we are going to sew across the bottom to um, sew that hem in place. going to take the two pockets and one short end they almost look like squares but these two sides are longer than these two sides so take a short end and you are going to fold it under a half an inch another and then another half an inch and you're going to press that in place you're going to do the same to the other this will be the hem that is at the top of the pocket Now you take your pockets and what you're going to do is you are going to fold each side, so both sides and the bottom. We're going to fold them in half an inch and press all of those folds in place so then it will be ready to pin and sew onto the skirt. So now that your pockets are ready, you are going to just bring them right over your marks. Keep all the folds in place and then pin it around the three, three sides that are not hemmed. You don't want to pin the top because you want that to be open for the pocket. And then you are going to sew around the three sides. Now you're going to sew two rows of basting stitches right across the top. Mark the um, center top before you sew and that's how we are going to gather this top for the skirt. We are going to start pulling on the bobbin thread to gather up the fabric. Now we are going to baste the skirt onto this front bib. So this is the front of the fabric, the right side, and this is the right side. Um, as you can see for the straps, I sewed them so that they were coming in towards the right side and that's the way we're going to do it with the skirt. So first find the center front of your bib like this and we're going to pin this in place. Then we are going to flip this over so that it's right sides together with the skirt. We're going to match up these two pins. This is the center front of each. Pin that together. And then we're going to figure out the gathers so that it fits within the bib. Um, remember when you are pinning it on, you don't want to come all the way out to the point. You want to come in 
um, at least three-fourths of an inch so that it doesn't get caught in these two seams right here. Once I have that pinned, I can check to see if this is the right length, which it is. I'm just going to distribute the gathers so they're a little more even and they look right all the way across. You can wrap your threads around your pin so that it, the gathers don't slide off the end. And then we're going to pin these two layers together. Then you're going to do the same to the other side. Now we're going to baste this seam um, at 3 8 inch since the um, final seam will be at 1 half inch. So baste that all the way across and it will secure all the gathers. So now the apron is almost done. The very last um, piece we're doing is we're adding the facing. So take your bib and fold everything back into the middle and even the skirt. So you're going to kind of have to roll your skirt kind of toward the middle, kind of fold it in like this. So how we're going to do this is we are going to put the um, facing of the bib right sides together on here. We're going to sew from here down around up here like this. This is where the hole will be for turning it right side out. So anything like the skirt that's too long and doesn't fit inside just needs to kind of be squeezed up here like this into this hole. I'm going to pin it all together and make sure that your straps are all out of the way and pointing inward in the edge of the skirt and all those pieces. Now you're going to start sewing um, up here. You want to start, like this is where the strap is. You want to start before the strap. You're going to sew at half an inch seam allowance. You're going to come across, pivot, down, pivot, across, pivot, up, pivot, and then come back across this strap right here. Make sure nothing gets caught in any of the seams as you go around. Take some scissors and we are going to trim at each corner. You're going to have to trim pretty deep since this is a tight corner. Do the same to these corners up here. Now we get to turn the whole thing right side out through the hole in the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to press this whole thing so all of the edges are nice and crisp and the facing is kind of tucked inside. When you press up here at the top, 
you want that seam allowance to be folded inside and pressed just like that. Now you are going to edge stitch around the whole trapezoid and make sure when you go across this edge that you keep those two ends together so you can close that hole. And that's how you make a simple kitchen apron with a free sewing pattern. Please check out these playlists of beginner sewing projects and kitchen sewing projects. I can't wait to see all of the aprons that you make. Please share them with me on social media. And I hope you have a wonderful day.